Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Time to take a live look in as we approach kickoff at Peden Stadium in Athens, Ohio. Everybody set for today's showdown. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. the site for this exciting football brawl. And now let's head down to the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Let's go. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Around the 47 yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. That'll make it second and inches. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Winning! 3 for 5. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a four-yard gain there for the tailback. Again, they go with the halfback here. And again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. On play action. Quick release. Oh, and it knocked down. The Bobcats always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. He fights forward to about the 46. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Yeah. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at the 27-yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. to his receiver, no good. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's the give. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's a gain of four on the play. Third down. Third down. 
So we're looking at another third down here. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. Yeah, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from this quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Loss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Second down and 11. Ball on the 43. Ohio up seven points. Nice run, and he's brought down. tries to buy some time and now he's going to improvise diving for extra yardage awesome running here on third down that can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully it's first and ten ball on the 23 They got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of three on the play. Brings up second and 13. catch and he's got room here. There are three quarters remaining. The Bobcats with a touchdown lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. It's our time. It's our time. Defense and their short yardage package. Throw incomplete, one of his receiver. Number eight was the intended receiver on the play. That brings him second and goal. From the three yard line, it's second down. Ohio is up seven. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. From their own 33 yard line. It's first down. Let's go. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. He's tackled at the 50 yard line. Tackle that 
the positive yardage. That's good for him. Five yards. That brings him second and five. From the 45-yard line, second down. goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Tackle made right around the 12-yard line. Taken down at the nine yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Ball inside the ten yard line. Second down. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. safety and he hits him hard at the 32 yard line that INT puts him in a position to make this a game yeah they really needed that that's a so they're just about set to get the game going again Makes the first down catch. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. He's got 100 yards in the game now. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Move the for another Ohio. First down. From the 21-yard line, first down. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. And it 
It's intercepted. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception. Ready to go. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. That's three down and one to go. The Bobcats with a three touchdown advantage. here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And down he goes around the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line. First down. It's incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Here he goes. Gets to around the 42. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He's at the 40. That tackle could have saved a very big play. So it's first and ten after the big run. Goes to the end zone. Almost picked off. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. It's the ninth play of the drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of four yards. Third down. We've got a third and six here. 
Ball on the 14-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 13-yard line. Call the game of one yard. That'll bring up fourth and five. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Under a minute left in the game. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 24. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. And so that's going to do it. The Bobcats get the win, 24-0. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? This didn't have the makings of an especially tight matchup. And while these young men did fight hard, they couldn't come up with any points. Ohio probably figured they had a walkover today, so credit their defense for never letting up and pitching the shutout. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.